But people who deal with prosecution and other collateral matters such as police officers, prosecutors and even state counsel must be trained from time to time for optimal delivery of service to the people. This was the submission of the Chief Judge of Lagos State, Justice Kazima Logba, during the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency's judges and magistrates training here in the state. Plus, TV News correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedokun tells us more in this report. Seated in this room are judges and magistrates of Lagos State. They are here to acquire additional knowledge on more effective ways to adjudicate cases of sexual and gender-based violence. Titi Lyo Shitobe is a Solicitor General and Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Justice, Lagos State. She speaks more on the essence of the training. The peculiar nature of these crimes requires special attention by all stakeholders involved in the process of administration of justice. Survivors of domestic and sexual violence offenses deserve to be treated delicately and with empathy. Justice Kazim Alugwa is a chief judge of Lagos State. He expresses delight at the training and calls for provision of forensic facilities to aid successful prosecution of cases. And ease of the essence in gathering evidence and the appropriate evidence for that matter in um, a would be successful prosecution of these cases. The Executive Secretary of Lagos State's Domestic and Sexual Violence, Titi Layo Vivo Adeniyi, discloses that out of over 4,111 cases recorded in the state, only about 20% ends up in court. Nevertheless, she believes that constant engagement such as this will show up more success stories for the agency. It's important that judges and magistrates have appreciate issues that pertain to sexual and gender-based violence, understand the psychology of abusers, and also know that you know survivors of sexual and gender-based violence are quite peculiar, and the, the necessary attention needs to be placed, especially taking into cognizance the fact that a good number of survivors don't even want to report. Atinuke Odukoya says the training is out to reset the mindset of judges socialized within the environment and culture, which may affect the way judgment comes out. There is an, a way, an approach that we, with which one should respond to a survival, and that's a survival-centered approach, looking at the human rights of that person, and that response to survivors is multisectoral, and as such, there is a continuum. And so it's important for us to ensure that the judges understand these issues, what are the various forms of the sexual and gender-based violence and what is the impact on the survival as well as the impact of the, the way they are caught response to the survival on their health, including their mental health. Odukoya also stresses the need for society to stop playing the blame game and stigmatization against victims of domestic and sexual-based violence. Love Ikuku Oyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.